What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about null conditional and null coalescing operators. So let's just say we take a time, tra we travel back in time, we travel to back in the day when Fortran was like a really popular language. What you would probably have to do if this language had nulls is you would have to actually go through and check for nulls and you still I mean um, they shortened it down but you still like you have to check for nulls all the time when you were programming like you have to check for nulls like often um, if you ever get the if you ever get a null reference error I'll show you what like a null reference error is or a null reference exception if you ever get a null reference exception use the null coalescing operator that's what it's used for uh you're gonna keep like key point take note of that because you will run into a null re you're going to run into null reference exceptions all the time and you definitely definitely want to know how to do this like this is very important all right so let's just say if my string is null you in hypothetical world fortran world you would have to do this like this string is null or you would, you would print something out like that into the console then this if it is not null then you would actually want to print your string and we'll just kind of step through that just to kind of show you like what exact what exactly happens relatively simple but just for example's sake so it's null um, going to execute right here so it's going to check beforehand and then it's going to log out to the screen should I don't know what's wrong with it should, it's gonna it's gonna log that out to the str into the screen but if we have a actual string right here, Then it's going to actually log the string. Simple enough, but you know we don't want to be doing we you don't want to be doing that all day. You want null you want a null coalescing operator because it's gonna sh it's gonna be twice as fast. So a null coalescing operator, this is going to be like an example of a null coalescing operator. So we'll have we'll just go back and put null. I don't know why it's lighting up. Okay. And make sure we got to put our semicolon. Then we're going to go up here and we're just going to do a nice little console write line. Then we're going to have my string and then we're going to have this. We don't even need to spell it right. <laughs> It'll get the point across. So if it's null and this actually goes down there, instead of it actually printing nothing, like if you didn't have that there, it would literally just print nothing and you don't want that. And if you had this in a real program, and it was a null reference exception and you passed in null into a function that didn't need null, it could possibly break the whole entire program. So if you're ever getting, like I said, null reference exception, remember, and if it's occurring a lot and you can debug it and you can see exactly where it's happening, put those two question marks in front of it and it'll take that error away. Let me show you another really uh, common one. So we'll just say void print int to print <laughs> print and then we're going to have console we don't want to right there I'm sorry none then we're gonna have console right line and I don't know why my telesense isn't working here we go console dot right line then we're gonna pass in that none so another Thing that you're going to see a lot is you will see this so let's just say we want to actually use that function and we pat now it's okay because we're actually passing in something but what if we pass in a null this is really cool you're going to get a red squiggly line watch this boom takes away the red squiggly line that's all you need to know and you'll be A-OK -okay in a work environment. And you probably could go a little bit deeper than that, but I'm gonna just show you those two things because I know there's somebody out there who's gonna say, I had that error all the time. So 
Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Oh, and as always, thank you for watching.